First there was fire, then the wheel, then sliced bread, and then the Fluence PA-10 preamp. So Justin, the PA-10 is the newest, the first uh, and newest uh, preamp from Fluence. Uh, so let's get people up to date who may not know what is a preamp. Yeah, so a preamp converts the phono signal coming from your stylus and cartridge uh, up to a line level. So again, yeah, what does that all mean? Um, so a phono signal is really, really low in volume. For example, if you took your turntable and just plugged it directly into your amplifier and put your, your volume at a setting that was um, normally would be loud, you'd have a very low, low signal coming uh, out of your speakers at that point because it's just not enough um, amplification in the, in the line there. So that's what a preamp does. A preamp brings it up to line level and then that can be sent to your ampli amplifier for uh, the proper amount of uh, volume to, co to come out of the system. So there's a lot of choices out there if you're looking for a preamp. Uh, what makes the PA-10 different? Yeah, the PA-10 has a, a few differences uh, from, let's say, the typical type of preamp uh, in the sub-$100 uh, frame. So um, firstly, uh, what we did with this one is, uh, is in terms of overall circuit design, um, most preamps use just a single chip to do everything at once, so signal in process and then signal out on one chip. Uh, what we decided to do is to split the, the stages and the, the channels. So we actually have four preamp chips, two uh, operating left and right on stage one and two operating left and right on stage two. So basically your, your conditioning and your pre-emphasis to get ready for amplification on stage one is done on, on those separated single channel chips and then on stage two, where you apply your rear curve and you do your, your amplification, uh, that's done as well on two single channel uh, IC chips. On the output side of, of, of the preamp, you've got uh, 38 dB coming out for gain. The result of uh, designing the PA-10 in, in this way is uh, we get 38 dB out uh, gain on the, on the output side as well as extremely low crosstalk uh, because the, there's not just one chip doing everything. Um, what is crosstalk? Crosstalk is when your uh, left channel or right channel is bleeding into uh, the up opposite channel. Uh, another thing that makes the PA-10 uh, quite different is you'll notice it's uh, wood cabinet uh, design, uh, which is like, well, why would you design it in wood? You're gonna get uh, electromagnetic uh, interference and things like that. So we have taken care of that. Underneath the wood cabinet is a, is a shielding layer. And lastly, uh, you'll notice on the back of the preamp, we've got a 20 hertz filter. The human ear can't hear below 20 hertz. Um, and so you might wonder, well, why would I have this filter in this place? Yeah, if we can't hear it anyway, can't hear it so why would we filter it out? Yeah. So things like noise and subsonic frequencies are always around in the environment. And uh, when you turn the volume up on uh, a song you really, really like, um, you're increasing the pressure in your environment, so your stylus becomes a lot more sensitive at that point. Um, and what this does is it just it, it cuts those low end frequencies, anything subsonic, noise, and just gives you that extra little bit to say, hey, I, I'm going to maintain a, um, a clean playback. Um, do we just leave it on all the time or not? Um, so recommended, obviously, you want the, the, the widest soundstage, so um, leave it inactive or out uh, all the time and just use it when you're having those playback problems. So the PA-10, um, it applies a rear curve uh, to the signal. Um, what's that? So RIA is the Recording Industry Association of America in its long form, uh, but basically they're a standard. And, and what they have done is created a standard that uh, people in um, the mixing side or the lathe cutting side uh, understand what their standard is. And then when it comes to uh, turntable reproduction in terms of the preamp world, we understand what reproduction is on this side. So. Um, you have one curve that scoops stuff away or, or, or boosts stuff in high end areas. So you're scooping low end or you're or increasing highs. And really what that's, that's for is to reduce the groove size overall on the, that the lathe is cutting into the um, vinyl. And that allows you to just put more songs on, on, a, on a vinyl record. Otherwise it'd be, it'd just be have like seven, seven albums for, for uh, you know, a 10 song uh, LP. So 
Uh, in essence, really, it, it's, it's to, to uh, lower the size of the grooves. And then on a phono preamp when you're developing it, the closer you can get to rear uh, uh, equalization, uh, then that in, in itself gets you the true sound the way that the artist intended it. Uh, how close did the PA-10 get to the uh, rear standard? 0.5 dB uh, deviation from Rhea. 0.5 is a nice number and we're pretty happy with it. As always, thank you so much for your time, Justin. Fantastic. We appreciate it. If you want to learn more about the PA-10, we have a couple of other videos which will be hovering around somewhere here, as well a link in the description to the Fluance website where you can read more specs and uh, pick one up for yourself. Thanks for watching.